Well, we are wrapping up our celebration of Washington Wine Month with a story of how a local winery is connecting eastern and western Washington while doing something good for the environment. King 5's Angela Cockaday is live in Bellevue. So, Angela, what is the connection and how are they making it happen? Well, Christine, the wine may be from eastern Washington, but wine drinkers come from all over the state. That's why here at Brown Family Vineyards Tasting Room in Bellevue, there's a giant mural that depicts life here in western Washington. There's salmon and mountains. The founder tells me he hopes it tells their story. Every year we're going to pick the best grapes and we're going to put a blend together that our winemaker is passionate about. Passion. It's in every glass of wine that Andrew Brown pours. And while the grapes used to make brown wines are growing more than 250 miles away in the heart of the Columbia Valley. Our flagship tasting rooms really are in the heart of Puget Sound. Andrew is looking to connect Washington's wine country to his love for marine ecosystems by putting more than just grapes into the ground. Every bottle of forest project that we sold, we were going to plant a tree in the forest. As the founder of the third top selling Washington brand in the state, Andrew knew early on that community and wine were two of the same. That's why earlier this year, he partnered with the nonprofit One Tree Planted to plant young trees along rivers and streams in and around the Puget Sound to help restore salmon habitat. We focus on conifers because they're longer lived. Sabrina Wilk works with the Hood Canal Salmon Enhancement Group, a local partner of One Tree Planted. Her and her team okay. have spent the last eight months planting forest project trees and say projects like it are important. The southern resident orcas, they they like to feed on Chinook salmon in the summer when uh, Chinook are readily available, but then in the winter and spring they have to turn to other sources. Other sources like the endangered Hood Canal summer chum, which Sabrina says could be delisted by 2027 with the help from habitat restoration efforts like Brown's. When we look at what we do in eastern Washington and Oregon and you look at the salmon runs there and everything, direct correlation. So let's talk about what's inside the bottle. Starts with Pinot Gris, has a little Riesling, has a little unwooded Chardonnay. The red blend comes from Eastern Washington, the grapes, uh, primarily Cabernet, but then we blend across. We love Merlot, we love Syrah. Andrew says consumers love that celebrating Washington wine also means making a difference. I would have said if we plant 100,000 trees, it's a home run. We're already, we're only in August, we're already at 130,000 plus trees. Now, I'm told the bottle itself is made with glass that weighs about 40% less than the average glass. The bottle also doesn't use any paper. Andrew tells me it's all part of the company's mission. For now, reporting live in Bellevue, Angela Cockaday, I'll send it back to you.